Well, converting a drawing from AutoCAD into a form that GCAD Plus can understand can be a little tricky. You can use a tool such as Autodesk's DWG True View, which is a free application to convert the drawing from one version. This is 2018 version of AutoCAD into an earlier version. I'm going to convert this drawing into a 2007 drawing. So I'll say convert and the conversion's been done and I'll close and we're back into this drawing. What I'm now going to do is switch to a copy AutoCAD that I've got that will allow me to open the 2007 version that I've just converted from this 2018 version and when we get to that we can then write out a DXF file because DXF file drawing exchange file format is the best way to move drawings from one application to another. An alternative approach is to use a tool called Tigger. Uh, Tigger is a file converter and that will enable you to convert any AutoCAD drawing file into an earlier version but you can do it in one go. So here I'm going to convert from that drawing that we just looked at which was 2018 version of AutoCAD and I'm going to convert it into the 2007 drawing exchange file format and it's going to land in a folder called Tigger Out. So I shall start and I've been rehearsing it so that file has now been generated. I can then start GCAD Plus. Let's do that. and go File and New using the default and then we can use the file DXF Tools DXF In and we know that it's being stored in a folder that I've called Tigger and Tigger Out and here's the converted DXF file so we can open it up that gives us a couple of layouts we can delete that layout and delete this layout and go into the model space. So here's the drawing. So in one action using a free tool, Tiga File Convert, which is quite a small download, about 25 megabytes, we get to where we want to go very quickly and very efficiently. I would suggest don't be tempted to use Autodesk's um, file converter because it's a 750 megabyte download and you'll be sitting for quite a long time and you'll still only be able to write out a DWG in an earlier version and then find an old copy of IntelliCAD or AutoCAD then convert to DXF. So for mine the TIGA file conversion is a much more efficient way to handle AutoCAD drawings and bring them into the GCAD Plus environment.